Hi, I'm Ben from the Things Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Things Stack using Docker on your local machine, so as localhost. All you'll need today is your computer and Docker and Docker Compose installed on your computer. Let's get started. In the documentation, under getting started installing the Things Stack, we have example configuration files that you can use to get up and running really quickly. In the installation guide, we also have a special consideration section for running on localhost, and so I'll be following those instructions. Let's start by downloading the open source example configuration files. Then I'm going to create this example directory structure. First, I'll make a folder to work out of, and then I'll create the example folders. And then I'll copy those example configuration files into the folders. Now let's look at those configuration files to make sure we're set up correctly. So I'll go ahead and open my Docker Compose file. Normally in production, you want to replace these latest tags with a known working tag, but since we're just running in development, I'm going to leave them how they are. Since we're going to be using self-signed certificates though, I want to uncomment these sections. That will tell the stack to look for my custom certificates. And Docker Compose is good. Let's take a look at our stack configuration file. First, I'll disable the configuration settings which retrieve certificates from Acme. And then I will enable the custom certificate section. Then I'll go and replace the example domain with the static IP address of my computer on my network. First, of course, you want to make sure that you configure a static IP address. And we're also going to use that IP address to generate TLS certificates. So here, I'm replacing all the example domains with my IP address. Now we're all configured, and the next step is to create certificates. In the installation guide, in the certificate section, we have instructions for creating your own certificates using Cloudflare's CFSSL tool. So first, you want to make sure that that's installed. On my system, I can install it with Brew. In my case, I've already installed it. The next step is to write the configuration for your CA. So we'll create a file called ca.json. And in that file, I'll just copy my example configuration from the instructions. Since it's just a demo, I'm not worried about what information is actually contained in that CA. Then I'll use the command from the documentation to generate the CA. Next, I'll write the configuration for the certificate to cert.json. And you'll want to configure the hosts as your static IP address. Great. And then we can generate a certificate using that CA. CFSSL names the certificate file certkey.pem, so I want to rename that to key.pem. Once we have the CA and the certificate, we need to tell our system to actually trust that CA. That's different on every operating system. So I'll show you how to do it here on the Mac. So I open up Keychain Access, and then I simply drag that ca.pem file that I created in the directory into Keychain Access. Now, by default, this root certificate is not trusted, so I need to change that. I do that by opening it up and then telling the computer always to trust this root CA. And now this certificate is marked as trusted. Now I should be ready to run the thing stack. Under running the thing stack, we have all the instructions you need. First, I'll do a Docker Compose pull. Then I'll initialize the identity server database. Since I'm running open source, I don't need to create a tenant. But I'll create an admin user. I'll give it a password. I'll register the CLI as an OAuth interface. And then I'll do the same for the console. So my console secret I left as default. My server address is my static IP. And then I'm ready to authorize the console. And finally, I can use Docker Compose up to start the stack. And now I should be able to visit that IP in the browser and see the console. Using HTTPS, I can see the console and I can see that the connection is secure. And there we are. 
So that's how you run the Thing Stack as local host using Docker. Thanks for using the Thing Stack and thanks for watching.